City of Albuquerque employees are being told to prepare for a vaccine mandate. This comes as the Supreme Court weighs President Biden's vaccine mandate for companies with more than 100 workers that also affects governments. Here's News 13's Gabe Chavez. Roughly 6,000 city employees could have to prove that they are vaccinated or submit to weekly tests if the mandate goes through. Employees received this email on Friday from Mayor Tim Keller. It states, Coming this month, federal decisions will require all city employees to be fully vaccinated. Of course, the U.S. Supreme Court just heard arguments on the OSHA mandate, the president's push to protect workplaces and bring up lagging vaccination numbers around the country. While businesses, cities and states have passed vaccine and testing mandates for workers and places, the justices will decide if the White House is overstepping its bounds. So this is something a bit different. It's whether or not executive, whether or not the federal government, in this case executive agencies, has the power to impose these mandates or testing requirements in the cases of employees. The city of Rio Rancho is also preparing for the mandate. City workers there have until February 9th, the new deadline for the federal mandate to prove they're vaccinated or be subjected to test. We reached out to the mayor's office in Roswell and Portales to see if they will enact the president's plan, and we did not hear back from them. Back to you. It is unclear if Albuquerque or Rio Rancho will move forward with the mandate if the Supreme Court rejects the president's plan. Meanwhile, an Albuquerque city councilor is trying to get ahead of that federal decision by banning vaccine requirements for city workers altogether. Newly elected councilor Dan Lewis plans to introduce legislation that would prohibit the city from requiring workers to get vaccinated. Lewis says if the bill is passed, the city could still require testing.